feminist linguists who are those linguists which relate language use with gender. So in this module, we will discuss their views, how the class of women, especially the social class, which is defined by their economic status, whether they belong to upper class, lower class, middle class, working class, how the class of women can become cause of gender inequality, difference in gender that is created by the class of women. This is focus of this module. Lower class segments of society, uh, I mean uh, uh, the class of women which belong uh, to uh, working people or very poor uh, segments of society, downtrodden uh, segment of society. So in those classes, women are taken as property of males. Males have every right to control them, to control their activities, behavior, etc. Et and uh, in marketing, for example, if we talk about those women which belong to middle class segment of society, so in they, uh, they take part in, for example, in advertising. So there, they use their feminine body for marketizing, for commercial purpose, their way of talk, their style of walk, all these things are used for commercial purposes. You can see all these things happening daily out of your television. So uh, whether you see advertisements of clothes, whether they are healthcare ads, whether they are ads of even tea or any edible things, whether they are political ads, everywhere you will find uh, women uh, in this time. So these relations of class, class of women, gender and language together are explored through critical discourse analysis. It means that how we can understand that this use of language relates with class and gender. So this is found out by using a procedure of analysis that is known as critical discourse analysis in the field of linguistics. Critical discourse analysis investigates relation of language use and power. Now see, when we say class causes gender in, uh, inequality, it means males are powerful and females are less powerful or they are powerless in some segments of society. So in this case, we see one is powerful, the other is powerless or less powerful. So a case of power is involved. So this relationship between language and power is explored by critical discourse analysis. Discourse means communication. So when these people, which are known as critical discourse analysts, they analyze discourse or communication, they find out that language exposes power relations. In this module, we have tried to discuss how use of language exposes power relations which are created by class of the women.